What's going on, y'all? This is me, Khalif, Sin Q, Norman, Kip, whatever name you know me by, Kugalia, whatever. Um, I'm just making this video because I want it to be known that today, fir first take a look here. See these pictures? You got those pictures? And you see that picture right there on the wall? Okay. So, for 15 years, since, since I've been in a relationship with my soon-to-be ex-wife, I have let her have her way, and I am so extremely apologetic and shameful. I feel shameful, I feel, I feel ashamed, I feel embarrassed that I would allow my love for my now soon-to-be ex-wife override the love for my child. But I'm going to tell you, I constantly fought. I constantly fought for years to get more than just these two pictures up here. See, this is my beautiful stepdaughter, Marin, and my handsome son, Johanse, who's a lot much more older than that now. Okay? But I fought hard for a very long time but it got to the point where, see, I, I'm going to tell you, I've been in, abu in an abusive relationship. You, you think a female can't dominate a male and, 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 and beat him down and, and call him names, verbal abuse and, and, and physically abuse him? Well, I'm, I'm the story. I'm that story. Okay? And so, going through all that abuse and, and calling it love, which, you know, is sickening. I, I got to... You know, figure out some somewhere in my past, where did I get to the point or how did I get to the point where I would accept being abused by people? Um, but anyway. Um, no, you know what? Maybe maybe I accepted the abuse uh, because I used to be a monster, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, excuse me. I don't I don't have any clothes on. But of course, you know, I'm on the camera, so I'm not going to let you see below. But um um, for a very long time, I was a terrible person. Okay. I, I, I feel and believe that I did a lot of terrible things. Uh, you know, some, some crimes, uh, that I regret, uh, a, a lot of things just, you know, I, my mind was twisted into believing that having a criminal mind was the way to be. Okay. And that, that did nothing. I, I never got, I, well, I got caught, but I got away. So I never, I never went to actual, you know, served any actual prison time. <clears throat> prison time. And I've been in a couple of jail cells, and I tell you, uh, it is not a good feeling. So I learned from that that I'm not going to jail. And I don't want any youth or anybody else to end up going to jail either. Okay? So that's part of the reason why um, I, I, I'm doing these videos. But uh, I think because of all the wrong that I did, I kind of felt that maybe I deserved to, to be abused. So I allowed myself, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I have to think deeper into that. I just not know. But for 15 years, I've been in an abusive relationship, and that's the bottom damn line, okay? I've also been ashamed to talk about it because I'm a male. You know, I, I you know, felt like, you know, but I'm going to tell you, in this society... I don't, I don't have the same kind of weapons to deal with a female, you know, they, they out talk you, uh, uh, and, 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 uh, you know, uh, society accepts them hitting on you and picking up things and hitting you. Uh, but it doesn't accept, uh, the male, uh, hitting them, uh, or picking up things and hitting them or anything, you know, it, 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 it's, it, it, it accepts, uh, the female, uh, dominated, uh, version of things. Okay. So. I accepted that, all right? And because I accepted that for 15 years, my daughter, my daughter has not felt like herself. She did not get the inner strength that, well, I'll take that back. I mean, it, it, it act, you know, according to her, I, you know, well, of what I see in her, I, I think 
um, you know, because she's into, she's into her now, and I'm so proud of her. She, she, she loves who she, who she is, um, and she's out there doing her thing, and the haters are trying to stop her, and they can't do it, okay? Um, but the thing about it is, is that for years, I always thought that not having any pictures in this house of my daughter, I was, I was confined, Okay, I, I had an office, a home office upstairs, and it was okay for me to have a picture up of a set on the wall up in there. Okay, it was okay. And I think that it, I made the mistake. I was so concentrated on her not having a picture outside of the room that I neglected to post up pictures of my, like I said, my lovely stepdaughter and my handsome son, Johanse. I didn't put their pictures up in my office because I was so bent on um, uh, putting something out there for a set, you know. Um, but the thing is, is that every time she comes into this house, all she sees is those pictures, okay? And I realize she's never felt at home. She's never felt like this was her house. And the thing about it is I never felt like it was mine either. You know, because because we let the ruler of the so-called ruler rule. Okay? But I'm tired of following a captain of a ship that don't know what direction the ship is going in. Okay? And it, 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 some people might say, well, it's too late because we're getting a divorce. Well, that's fine. That's cool. I, I, I happen to know that some of the reason why we're getting a divorce is because I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of being abused. I'm tired of letting her have her way. And I'm changing things. So today, you already saw me take it down, but I'm putting my daughter's picture up with the others. Okay? I put my daughter's picture up with the others. And another thing that there was a problem with, my my so-called wife never wanted me to spend time with my children by themselves, pretty much. I could spend with them time with uh, a set and uh, Johanse uh, individually, but my stepdaughter, who my wife expects me to treat like she's my biological daughter, I could never be alone with her, uh, uh, take her out somewhere, unless I was uh, uh, in the house. Uh, you know, uh, uh, while she was doing her work or something. Oh, your stepdaughter. That's my mom talking. Marin. Oh, yeah, Marin. So. Who she belong to? <laughs> Mar Marin is my soon-to-be ex-wife's daughter. Karma. Marin is Karma's daughter. Yeah, so uh, that's that's my mom. Uh, I, I brought my mom out, you know, because I miss her. She's been living in New Jersey for 25 years, uh, pretty much by herself. And, um, you know, my, my brothers and sisters, my siblings passed away before uh, I was <clears throat> before I was born. So, you know, hey, and that's my mom, you know. I had to go get her. That's another issue, you know. Why is my ex-wife going to tell me that it's okay for my, wife, for, for my mom to stay here and then turn around and say she can't? Huh? Why? The reason being is because she don't want me to stay here. Uh, a house that I've paid mortgage on. I've been paying half the mortgage on for a very long time. Okay? It's my house. It is part my house, but she wants to treat me now because she don't love me anymore or because she hates me or whatever, like I'm supposed to be paying rent. She claims it ain't yours. That's what she claims. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, anyway, a set. This is for you, sweetie. I'm putting it up. I'm putting it out. And it's up there. 
Let's see if I can get Moran in there. I got Moran. There we go. There it is, right there. That's the way it's always should been. Should have been. Should have always been like that. You know. All the chicken gone? No. It's in the refrigerator. It is? Yes. No, it ain't. My mama's funny. Huh? She's funny, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah, so, um, anyway, I'm done.